Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with a free Dow analysis for you for the trading session dated Thursday 24th of March. I'm recording this video 11.30pm in the evening, New York time, on Thursday the 24th before markets open for the 25th. This is my main wave count for the Dow, I have a main and an alternate. At this stage I'm not going to favour either one and possibly this main wave count only slightly. Recent movement fits the alternate count better but the daily chart, I think, fits the main wave count better. This wave count sees primary wave 2 zigzag is over and the Dow in the very early stages of primary wave 3 down. Wave C black is subdivided at blue or minor degree into a 5 wave impulse with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 waves over here and now downwards movement a 1, 2 and now another 1, 2 so it should be winding up for a pretty explosive downwards movement if this wave counts correct. However, we do not have confirmation of this very big trend change. If this is primary wave 3 it must take price below the end of primary wave 1 below 6,469.95 and comfortably below that point. So this is a very, very big trend change and I'm going to have a main and an alternate wave count until I see confirmation of this trend change or invalidation of this main wave count. Taking you to the hourly chart where this high and this low is this high and this low. Here's the end of primary 2 possibly and the start of primary 3. We have a nice impulse down here for a first wave, a pink or minute degree. A double zigzag correction for a second wave, a pink or minute degree. And now within pink wave 3, a 1 and still needing a little bit more upwards movement for a second wave correction. If this wave count is correct, price must remain below 12,257.82 to remain valid. I can't see a possible wave count that has the end of two pink up here and includes this piece of movement in a downwards wave which would start here and end here. That's extremely difficult to see so I cannot move the end of wave two pink any higher so this is the final invalidation point. I can't see any further adjustment that could be made to this wave count to allow for further upwards movement. This may come quite quickly if this wave count is incorrect and if the alternate is correct, movement above 12,257.82 will invalidate this and at that stage it would be reasonable to expect the Dow to continue on higher and make new highs and I have a target with my alternate wave count for you. If however price remains or does not move above this point and turns around and starts to move downwards in a strong downwards movement, then this wave count may be correct. If it doesn't do that, this is my alternate wave count. And the biggest objection I have to this wave count is the structure for wave 3 blue on the daily chart has a really strong 3 wave look. However, a little bit more upwards movement may very well confirm this wave count. This wave count would be fully technically invalidated only with movement below 10,719 because 4 can't move into wave 1 price territory, that's the high of wave 1 blue for this chart. However, in reality we'd know that downwards movement will have really strong indication that downwards movement would be primary 3 well before this point. If we start to see some strong downwards movement and at least one full candlestick below the lower edge of these blue channels I've drawn on both daily charts, once we see that we have a trend channel confirmation of a big trend change and we could reasonably expect it would be primary 3 down. If this wave count is correct we may know in another day or so and upwards movement if it moves above the confirmation point for this, main, for this alternate wave count we may expect it to continue on higher at 12,573.34 that's where wave C black in its entirety beginning down here will reach 0.618 the length of wave A black and at 12,661.1, that's where wave 5 blue, beginning at this point here, will simply reach equality with wave 1 blue. There's no Fibonacci ratio between waves 1 and 3 here at blue or minor degree, so it would be increasingly likely then that we would see a relationship between 5 and either 3 or 1, a Fibonacci ratio or a relationship of equality. So this target would have a fairly high probability, and it's not too big a target. 
So if price moves above that confirmation point on the hourly chart, expect it to continue on higher somewhere up into this target zone. This is the daily chart, no, sorry, the hourly chart for this alternate wave count. Here's the end of that third wave, and the end of the fourth wave zigzag, with an A, a double zigzag for B, and an impulse down for C. One of the, my problems with this wave count is it sees this piece of movement here all squished up with a series of first and second waves. This is technically possible, but it really doesn't have a very good look. If price continues on higher, however, and invalidates the main wave count, then this will be correct. It will be expecting, as does the main wave count, a little bit of downwards movement to start tomorrow's session, and then further upwards movement for this wave count. Wave 2 green may not move beyond the start of wave 1, so movement below 11,555.48 will firmly invalidate this wave count. If we see that, if price moves below that point, then we should expect it's highly likely that it's primary 3 down, and we should expect to see overall downwards movement from the Dow for quite a long time to new lows. So the Dow is still within a critical juncture, and considering that upper invalidation point, on the, main day, on the hourly chart for the main wave count is very close by, we may actually have confirmation of the alternate very, very soon. Or, if we don't have that very soon, then that main wave count is going to continue to look quite valid. That's all for me with your Dow analysis, and I hope that everyone else is having a fabulous day.